Good morning world, my name is Marco Haine, I'm the founder of the Help Oceans and welcome back. Today we're going to have actually a very interesting topic and something <coughs> what you do have to consider as this part of the world, it is one of those most unique parts what has creating really really big and historic impact for the human race so let's get it started today we're going to talk about south pacific ocean so hello world where are you Describe the world is collapsing. Health oceans need your support. So subscribe, like, and let's get it this one raw. So today I have a heart full of both concern and hope. And when I say hope, I have a big, big H over there. Hope. We find ourselves at a critical juncture in the journey as stewards of this planet, facing a challenge that transcends borders, oceans and generations. The enchanting beauty of the South Pacific Ocean has been a source of wonders for centuries. It's breathtaking landscapes and vibrant culture captivating our hearts. Yet, beneath the surface of this paradise lies the, a threat that has silently been suffocating our oceans and devastating our ecosystems we call it ocean plastic pollution hopefully you get it over the past five decades our oceans have been witness an alarming rise of the plastic pollution it's not just an issue affecting some distant land it's a crisis that is hitting close to home for Ecuador, Colombia, Peru and Chile and every other nation connected to the South Pacific Ocean. It is a huge, huge, huge part of the world. Remember, oceans cover 75% of the Earth. We have only small piece for the humans. So, the statistics are staggering. Over 8 million metric tons of plastics are dumped into the oceans each year. And the consequences have been profounded. Let's go a little bit in details now. Colombia. I like the country. I like the people. I've been there. With the rich biodiversity, a coastal heritage has not been spared. In the last 50 years, the plastic tide has surged, affecting marine life, clogging waterways and disturbing delicate ecosystems. Ecuador, a land of incredible nature wonders, has seen its beaches merged by the plastic debris, impacting its vital tourism industry and harming the livelihood of its coastal communities. Peru, with the magic coastline, has witnessed the surge in the plastic-related health issues and risks as the toxins from plastic find their way into their 
Fuche. Ah, there. And of course, never ever forget the Chile. I've been there as well. I've been actually all of these countries. The land of the contrast and beauty has experienced a dramatic increase in plastic waste, threatening its unique marine habitats. So let's spare these countries, help them. So, my friends, even in the face of this crisis, there is a hope, like I said it earlier, when I said hope, there is a big, big age. Big age. Hope. Number one. No, this is not the number one. We can no longer ignore the reality that our actions have consequences. But we can choose to act with conviction and purpose. Each one of us has a role to play in rewriting this narrative. Together, we can turn the tide of the plastic pollution. We can reduce, reuse and recycle. Remember, all these are, are, are. Reduce, reuse recycle and we can champion sustainable practices and demand responsible packing from the industries we support and we can advocate a stronger policies to reduce and regulate plastic production and disposal. We can support the research and innovative practices alternative to plastics. Remember all those many, many we can activities because we do can. We just need to take action. So we can. Coffee. Imagine a South Pacific Ocean where the beaches are pristine. They marine life tribes and they communities are resilient. Imagine a legacy of stewardship that we can proudly pass down to our children and grandchildren. Got it? The journey <clears throat> won't be easy, as we all know. It's not easy, but it is the one that we must undertake. Got it? We do have to do something about this one. So let us draw inspiration from the beauty that surrounding us. From the resilience of our people and from unbreakable spirit of our nations. Now comes to the big part. So let us rise as united front against the tide of the plastic pollution. We do need to get together much more than we actually are now. We have a seven continents. We have a lot of people. We do need to unite. So let us Commit to safeguarding our oceans, our ecosystem, and, best part, our way of life. 
as we need to plan so many things so let's get together much more as we stand on these crossroads remember that we are not alone in this endeavor we're not you're not I'm not alone but we need to unite the eyes of the world are upon us and the history will remember the choices we made today tomorrow or in the past remember all is recorded so we do need to do something let us choose a future where the South Pacific Ocean shines not only for its natural splendor but also for its determinations to overcome adversity that is really really important part and it must be fixed and I can personally say to you I've been on the South Pacific Ocean really really many times and I'm probably one of those persons in the world who actually love the world I love the different nations I see the world I see the oceans I see so many different cultures and even the cultures religions are different but all of us are connected with the ocean so hopefully you got this part today and we must start to do something so please let's get together and let's th let's start to fixing this one not just talking I said it many times, if you like the health ocean, if you like my channel, my talks, get us bigger, help us to help the ocean, because me and my team will be your messenger for the future, we are here, you are in your home, you are in a safe environment, we are getting out to the sea, we will fix it, we will provide you live intro, not edit it. It's not going to look nice, it's going to look what is out there. So with your help, you will see real ocean as it is. So please subscribe and of course share to your communities. And if you decided to do so with the cost of one cup of coffee per day, you can support us. All the links are in the below and please follow us as we will be back as the Arnold said I'll be back until the next time I'm Mark Bynum, the founder of the Health Oceans I see you soon have a nice day